Hi everyone, my name is Elisa Whale and I'm the team leader instructional designer at CISPR Corporate. I completed my master's in 2015 and have been working at CISPR ever since. I'm also currently busy with my PhD in computer science part-time. I thought I'd give you some time to let my job title sink in a bit because I'm pretty sure that most of you haven't got a clue what I do. Not to worry, you're not the only one. I remember going to my first CS alumni event after everyone had just started working and I got a lot of confused faces and questions from my previous CS classmates. I started as a junior instructional designer and after three months was promoted to instructional designer and then after two years became team leader. I think the team leader part is self-explanatory. I'm a leader of a team that has varied in size over the years but at the moment, I currently have six team members, which include myself and my manager. Now let's get to the instructional designer part. There are various definitions of this role, and often during interviews, I ask candidates, but can you be an instructional designer at CISPRO? IDs are mostly known for creating learning or educational content for soft skills types of concepts. But at CISPRO, we do much more than that. I could take you through a typical day, but then again, each day is different. My main focus while I've been at CISPRO has been working on enhancements to our software. New releases and educating users how to use them. Not sure if you've seen that meme, which involves a cup and a tea bag, where the optimistic developer says that it's a common sense feature that doesn't need documentation. Then the end user lands up doing this. Welcome to my world. I write training guides from scratch because we all know developers don't like documentation. I create step-by-step -step how to tutorials. I create video demonstrations of how to use the software, provide examples or scenarios of how it could be used in the real world. I create interactive SCORM e-learning. I compile questions for tests, assessments and exams. And if you want to administer an exam in my team, you need to pass it first. A career in CS and IS was a good choice for me because I got to expand on the knowledge I learned at university and also learn new things. I got to use skill sets that I thought I'd packed away in the archive. So you can definitely see that the NMU CS department is really preparing you for industry even though you don't think so right now. I have a foot in both worlds with my IS and business management degrees. This has been especially useful for some of the more strategic tasks I'm working on. With the current circumstances that COVID-19 has brought, it's pretty good to still have a job and my company is able to fully function with us all working from home. I think the IT industry has had a lot to gain from these trying times. COVID-19 has mostly impacted the people aspect of my job, where everything now is conducted online. Another thing is trying to do voiceovers while living in an apartment. People, animals, cars, who knows what else, are constantly making a noise. Otherwise, everything else is pretty much business as usual. Being in education, I would really encourage you to take full advantage of the learning opportunities that are available. Learn, learn, learn. Knowledge is key. If you can learn a new skill during this time, it can only benefit you. Some other advice, when you're interviewing at companies, please at least Google what the company does and be able to answer that question properly. The amount of times I've conducted interviews and the variations of what CISPRO does that I've heard are beyond fiction. Ask questions, take notes, ask the same question again, build relationships with people. Try and get some experience, VAC work, an internship, even if you have to make people coffee. When it comes to recruiting people, companies want experience. They are often not too phased that you cum laude your degree. However, this does count for something and has great worth. You just need to get your foot in the door first. More often than you think, People will hire you because they know of you or because of your personality. If you are a good fit to the company and the team culture, people will be willing to spend the extra time to train you into the recruit they were looking for all along. This too shall pass. 
we can just hope that our new normal is going to be even more amazing. Yours in computer science, 